Okay, a Modern War magazine game from July, August 2019. Brand new. Unusual for me to be playing something like this. Uh, I basically think of myself as con continuing in the same subgenre, almost series, in the sense that uh, I've taken a look at uh, Bear versus. Uh, or Dragon vs. Bear, let's see. Yeah, Dragon vs. Bear, Modern War Magazine game, even the Millennium Wars, Korea, um, then the um, Red Dragon, Green Crescent. So that's what I mean about basically continuing the same, in the same vein, uh, the same general type of games. Um, but certainly, cer certainly sub-genre, so Asia-based, China-based, um, contemporary or near future war games. I'm going to continue on my worldwide equipment identification cards. China. Oh, yeah. That's the uh, Z 10 attack helicopter, various guns, rockets, and missiles. That definitely looks like a. Um, definitely looks like an Apache AH 64. So, where are the. Uh, is that. That almost looks like the uh, the uh, outline used on the actual piece. As a matter of fact, if I had to guess, I would say that is, or something really, really close. Uh, <clears throat> so that's that. Uh, again, Modern War magazine game. Very unusual for me. I'm actually playing a. Uh, Oh, I just noticed the battery is... Ah, oh, the battery is low. Alright, I hope this goes all the way. Um, pretty nice looking cover there. Um, obviously Chinese main battle tank there. Um, pretty nice. Let's see, do they tell us what it is? Uh, yeah, that's a ZTZ-99A2 is what it is. So modernized Chinese ZTZ 99A2 main battle tank. Um, Alright, Dragon that engulfed the sun. Um, yeah, I guess I'll get the background. It's, um, so this game simulates, this is a very brief introduction, I'm actually reading just half of the rules introduction piece here. This game simulates a near future hypothetical Chinese invasion of Japan. The premise of this game is that a sudden war erupted on the Korean Peninsula. That's possible. That mo that's my commentary. Compelling China to intervene in the conflict. That's that's uh, not hard to believe. Uh, well before the United States could reinforce South Korea sufficiently to prevent it from being overrun. Moreover, because the Chinese realized that there might never be another opportunity to completely eliminate the U.S. from the Asian mainland. They have irrevocably committed themselves to this path, and thus it is their resolute intention to fi finally settle old scores with the Empire of the Sun. There we go, and I want to jump right into the sequence of play, which by the way is not, not as it's printed on the map, so you have a little game turn sequence printed on the side of the, on the, of the map. On this side of the map, so you call that basically the north northwestern side of the map you have your combat results table, your submarine attack chart, game turn sequence, and train effects chart. Unfortunately the game turn sequence printed on the map is not correct. Um, there's, yeah, it's just not correct. Probably an earlier version, maybe? But anyways, uh, so I want to go in order here, so without the background, yes there's a communist player turn followed by a Japanese player turn. Uh, there are still um, there are still U.S. units in the game, like the 25th Infantry Division here, uh, but they do not start on the map. Um, starting on the map are just the Japanese forces defending Japan and some Chinese forces at the corner of the map re ready to come on to the play area. So again, I want to go 
as things come up in the sequence of play. So you have an administrative segment and step A of the administrative segment is place and resolve special forces or commando missions. So I want to know if I can even do that. Can I do that on the first? You know, I probably should review the scenario rules to make sure I'm not missing anything major. Um, well, you know what? I'll start with the communist special rules, make sure I'm not missing anything. So, I think there's basically just one scenario. I don't see either, mul I do not see multiple scenarios and I don't even see variants. Uh, I guess you could think in terms of variants because there are, I think, some uh, optional rules. Anyways, make sure I don't miss any scenario special rules. So the communist special rules include replacements. Communist side receives two replacement points each game turn. Amphibious movement. Chinese units that begin the game set up on the red Chinese home port symbol. That's the the corner, the south west corner of the map, there is a, a graphic uh, representing, right at the corner of the map there's a graphic representing Chinese home ports. You can stack, I think you can just stack units on that graphic and they move onto the map. Chinese units that begin the game set up on the red Chinese home port symbol in the southwest corner of the map. Uh, must enter the map amphibiously during game turn. Well, there we go. So these forces are coming on. Yeah, these forces are coming on amphibiously. So they may arrive in any of the red outlined western map edge. Uh, C hex is printed south of the Korean Peninsula. 1022. Hex 10. Okay, hex 1022 to 1035. That's basically this south. Again, south western corner of the map. Uh, while moving amphibiously, each Ch Chinese land unit possesses a movement allowance of five. There is no limit to the distance that such units may move by sea across the map over the course of multiple game turns. The unit's amphibious movement permanently ends the moment that the Chinese player declares it landed in a coastal hex that is not currently occupied by an enemy land or naval unit. Note, in this context, land units include only land combat units. It does not include missile, SAMs, or units moving amphibiously. An amphibiously moving land unit may be attacked by enemy air and naval units exactly as if it is a naval unit to include the possibility of submarine attacks, but it cannot attack or be attacked by land combat until it is landed. Alright, that's it though. So, I guess actually the important thing is really just this amphibious movement, so... But still, the special forces come first, so... Um, so can I do special force attacks right away? The communist player may use, may use any or all of his special forces type land units during the administrative segment of any game turn to conduct commando missions. The player is not required to use his special forces units in this way and may instead employ his special forces like regular land units. Uh, Okay, major insertion or minor insertion. So when can they come on? Come on, come on, come on. Um, commando mission. Where do they... Alright, um, there are different types of commando missions. Um, does that matter? Oh, yeah, that, yeah, it does, okay. There are commando missions, capture the government, raid air base. That could be interesting. Sabotage SAM battery, that could definitely be important. Sure. So place the special forces unit in any unoccupied land hex adjacent to a free world, I guess that's what they call the Japanese side, free world SAM unit. Okay. So that actually could be a good possibility. Uh, okay. We also have Sabotage SSM battery, so here's where's it? here's an SSM battery example here at Sakaida, um, and I know I put, uh, yeah, SAM batteries protecting um, air units, 